Hey guys, Adam Gaming here, and welcome back to another episode of me getting my butt beat by a bunch of turtles. No, not really. Uh, welcome back to another episode of the World of Warcraft Undead Let's Play. Uh, we're gonna turn on the sound effects here. Alright, so, when last we left off, we were talking about something... I don't even know what we were talking about last time. Uh, pumpkin. And, yeah, today's the, uh, Halloween, Hallow's End event. So, uh, yeah. Ooh, spooky pumpkin. Pumpkin. All right. So, go ahead and take this. Give it to this person over here. I'm gonna do that quest just for fun. strength and honor. Yeah, strength and honor. Right. Farewell. Don't want to read. May your blade. I got candy and it's going super fast. And a folded letter because I didn't do anything wrong. Alright, so anyway, uh, let's see here. So, when last we left off, we were talking about how wargans and uh, humans were trying to defile our land, even though we defiled their land first. So, yeah, um, we're gonna continue off on that probably. I haven't got maybe, all day. Maybe later. I don't know exactly when later. Like I said, I haven't done these, um, this quest line in years. It's been a while. A long while. And I'm this is actually a revamp of what I did. Let's go to settings. Here. And turn it down just a little bit. Here we go. That's nice. <laughs> Alright, so let's go talk to that junior apothecary. He had something for us before I left. I just didn't want to read it because I'm too lazy to talk to him. And he's coming down here to meet us, actually. He's he's really happy to see us. See? See? Look at him. Really happy to see us. And that's why he went over there. This better be good. As you're probably already realizing, the Royal Apothecary Society is a widespread organization. We take our plague alchemy seriously. It is our belief that the more agents we have performing experience, the sooner we will realize of our objectives. One of our own agents performs his work at a small encampment to the north of here. His name is Jared, and, and he could sure use an apprentice of your stature. Alright, so we're going to go visit Jared. Uh, but first, we're going to go talk about this uh, person who has some special duties for us nearby. <laughs> I said the word duty. I'm so funny. Look at my pumpkin. Okay, so let's move on. Um, Alright, so... This guy over here needs to really get on my level. I don't know why I said get on my level. I, I'm not cool. Okay, guys, listen. I, that's why I play World of Warcraft. I, I'm not cool. Alright, so we're going over here. Talk to this guy here. Oh, yeah, that's right. I need to do what now? professions. Um, I'm listening. Leatherworking and skinning. You're just right next to each other. Dog lady, watch over good. you. I'm gonna take you up. Farewell. Speak quickly. Magistrate Stephen wants a report. Very well. The defenders at the bulwark of holding the majority of the scourge at bay, but do ships, but do slip some on occasion. We have seen sporadic scourge activity east of the station with a concentration found around about near Farmstead and look at me I have voice cracks because I'm a female that, that doesn't even make any sense because embrace the shadow well okay so alright what is it it's so cold now the plague of death crawls through my veins like an icy serpent the mind state will be upon me soon, but no doom destiny will prevent me from serving our dark lady. When the call prepare rose, yourselves, I... the bells have tolled. Shelter your weak, your young, and your old. Each of you shall pay the final sum. 
cry for mercy! The reckoning has come! <laughs> Nobody cares! Alright, moving on. Uh, now my hands shake from the chill. If you would bring me five dispatch belts, I could sue myself a blanket. Help me, the sorries, so I can continue to serve the cause. Goodbye. All right, so I gotta get you a blanket so you continue to work for the for someone. All right, yeah, that makes sense. All right, here we go. So we're going to go we're off to kill some something somewhere. Where are they? There's one. Come here, here, bat thingy. I don't know. I don't know what makes you so special, but I mean, it must be something. Uh, you, you got those, you, you must got that greater dust belt eyes that I've been searching for. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. You're so beautiful, I just had to take your pelt away from you and then skin you again. Because apparently you have two different pelts at the same time. Right. So, yeah, I've never understood that. Why take someone else's pelt and then be able to remove their skin a second time? I guess you just take the rest of it. I mean, you must only take half of what they have and then take the rest of it by itself. Uh, but I've... But I managed to craft it into some leather, so I guess that's a good thing. Alright. Ooh. And now you're mine. And we are going over here to this nest one. Alright, this is a really quick quest. I am really surprised at how fast this quest is going by. Um. Usually something like this, it usually requires you to kill like double of whatever it is. The sky is dark. The fire burns. You strive in vain as fate's wheel turns. Well, guess what, buddy? I'm not in... I can't rhyme today. You don't really... I'm not really appreciative of the, the rhyming. I, I, I enjoy some of the stuff from the uh, Hollows End event, but the rhyming is can get annoying because you hear it like at least 20 times a day um you also get this nice hat uh hat from people who gives it to you hello you're special do you have five dust bat uh, dust bat pelts yet Lazarius? i appreciate your efforts Lazarius. may sylvanas recognize your bravery one day dot 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 trust no one Thanks. I got a pair of pants. Okay, it just occurred to me. I wonder if she took, like, some of the pelts and just made it a pair of pants or just gave me a pair of pants. I am forsaken. You should return to Magistrate Severin with the information I gave you. He'll want it as soon as possible, so be swift. Victory for Sylvanas. Victory for Sylvanas. Wario. For Death God Wario. Death God Wario. Death God Wario. Yeah, alright. I need a friend. You know what? I'm gonna walk with this guy. Hey. Hey. How's it going? Hey. Hey, how's it going? Hey. Hey. Hey, listen. I... I... I, I got a jaw. I got... I got a... Um, I got a helmet. Look at my face. Look at my face. Am I pretty? Am I pretty? Ah, pretty son. Hey, the hey. town still burns. A cleansing fire. Time is short. I'll soon retire. It doesn't even look like the town is on fire. What are you talking about? Oh, that one fire over there, and that bunches of fires all over the place because nobody cares. That's why everybody's standing here just looking at you. They don't care. They just want your freaking head and ice cream. Alright, so we're gonna talk about, um, that magistrate over there. Hmm. I'm listening. Is it troubling to hear the spirit slipping past the bulwark? 
Even now, they have seized us in their assault. But we will not give in. The Lich King is dead. We will not be taken again. Goodbye. Goodbye. Alright, so yeah. Apples. You just dip your head in here and just get some apples. Delicious. Okay, so we're gonna head over to where Jared is, and that will probably be good enough for now. I'm listening. You're not listening. In fact, you just seem like you're just walking around because you don't care. You know what occurs to me? I think you can just enter into that tomb over there. It's gonna be my. This is gonna be my, rest, my resting place right here. You know what? I'm gonna be the, the most important undead. The best one. Let's see. Hello. You know that's kind of cool, actually. I kind of wish I had like a nice random tune sound like that. Wait, watch this. I bet you in the next fire seconds, consumes. You've tried and failed. Let there be no justice prevailed. Apparently, uh, setting people on fire is justice, guys. So if you, I actually never mind. I do not condone the use of setting people on fire. So if that was what you intended to do before you watch this video, do not do it. Because if you do, then you might end up getting set on fire. Yeah, that's what happens. When, when you want to set people on fire, you end up getting set on fire. It, it's like, it's like you, you just somehow magically become fire, fired up. <laughs> Alright, so Jared, I had to walk all the way to get to you, alright buddy? So you better have something good for me. Speak quickly. What can I do for you? Who's the little guy? No. Uh -huh. Holland, he's an amateur. You don't need to a fancy two-story apothecary to make plague. You need love and maybe some good assistance. Let me show you how a plague is really made. Beware the living. I never thought that you'd need love to make that. Oh, that. Right there. And these things. These things. Yes. Yes. Apparently you need love. Uh, but yeah, I think I'll just stop it right here, guys. This was kind of a filler episode a little bit. Um, but if you guys like it, feel free to give a like. If we can get at least another like on this video, I will continue on with my wonderful uh, uh, storyline. And yeah, remember guys to always stay saucy.